next kind of character code representation I want to talk about is something called EBCDIC. That stands for Extended Binary Coded Decimal Interchange Code. This is something that was developed for use in IBM mainframe and sort of mid-range computers, and it's still used to this day. Okay, in the EBCDIC code, what you have is you have a set of zones and you have digits. And each zone is 4 bits, and each digit is 4 bits, and you put together the zone and the digit, and that will represent a specific character. For example, the letter A, a lowercase a, is represented as zone 1000, and the digits happen to be 0001. Um, the character 3, assuming it's not being used as a number, we're not translating it as a number now, is 11110011. Okay, now the scheme of how these were developed doesn't seem to make intuitive sense here, but what I want to do is show you a table that represents these different values. Okay, so now let me see if I can get this pen up. Wrong one. Darn it. Okay, maybe not. All right, so I'll just use my mouse pointer here. Okay, so here, notice for A, uh, the lowercase a, I said the zone was 1000 and the digit was 0001. So we read down to the zone and across to the digit to find the value. For 3, the number 3, or the character 3, we read down here to 1111 and across to 0011 to get the digit. Now what can be very confusing about this is that sometimes you'll see the zones and the digits reversed. So the tables will be <laughs> just sort of like a, a mirror image in a way. Um, so you have to watch that. But the zone would come first and then the digit. Notice there there are a lot of spaces here where, for example, if I wanted zone 1010 and came over here to digit 1100, there's nothing there. That means that in standard EBCDIC that there is no meaning assigned to that zone digit combination. Those could be designed or defined by a user or someone who's designing a computer system, the mainframe or mid-range computer. They could define it however they want and use it for whatever special purposes they want. Okay, So that's what EBCDIC is about. Go back to that. All right. So zones and digits for EBCDIC. Okay, very different than binary coded decimal. And it goes beyond because here we're able to use actual characters, not just digits like we were able to use with the binary coded decimal.